In the previous section, we introduced leveraged and inverse leveraged ETFs with Jack and Jill. This section will focus on the leveraged ETFs Jill invested in and how it rebalances from day to day. As you might recall, the ETF that Jill purchases has an investment objective of maintaining a daily 300% exposure to the US Large Cap Index ETF. Because of this, the fund manager must rebalance the ETF's holdings every day to consistently maintain the fund objective. As a savvy investor, Jill understands that this rebalancing changes her position's exposure level from one day to the next, which can significantly impact how closely her original purchase tracks the performance of the underlying index. If she holds it for longer than a day, her exposure levels could rise or fall dramatically, affecting her original investment. Let's take a look at how the ETF rebalances its holdings daily after both upward and downward market movements. For simplicity's sake, let's use round numbers and assume that the leveraged ETF Jill buys is $100 million in net assets at the beginning of the day. By applying leverage to align with the fund's daily objective, this equals 300 million of total exposure to the index, or 300%. If the index rises 1% at the end of the trading day, the fund's exposure level rises by 3 million, causing the fund's net assets to increase to 103 million. Since the net assets of the fund have increased to 103 million, but the total exposure to the index is only 303 million, we could say that the fund's net assets and its total exposure are not in balance with one another. Because 303 million is only 294% of the fund's 103 million of assets, at the end of the trading day, the fund must rebalance by purchasing 6 million of additional exposure. This brings the fund's total exposure to 309 million, which is exactly 300% of the 103 million of assets. At this point, the fund's total exposure is again in balance with its net assets. Now let's have a look at what happens when the index goes down. By the end of the trading day, if the index drops 1%, the fund's exposure level declines by 3 million, causing the net assets of the ETF to fall to 97 million. Instead of 100 million in assets, it now has only 97 million. Since the net assets of the fund have decreased to 97 million, the ETF is again out of balance, because 297 million is now 306% of the fund's 97 million of assets times 3. At the end of the trading day, the fund must rebalance by reducing its exposure by $6 million. Now that the ETF's total exposure is again at 300%, it is properly positioned to attempt to achieve its investment objective for the next trading day. As a responsible investor, Jill is aware of the way in which the ETF's increased or decreased exposure affects her own investment's market exposure and, therefore, her performance over time. She carefully monitors her leveraged or inverse ETFs, to ensure she is not over or underexposed. Depending on her investment goals, she may wish to rebalance her holdings accordingly. We can see from these examples that fund rebalancing leads to increased or decreased index exposure levels for individual investors that hold the funds for periods longer than a single trading day. These changing exposure levels and their impact on investors' returns result in compounding, which we will cover in the next video sections. We will examine three different multi-day scenarios. One, when the markets rise steadily, two, when the markets decline steadily, and three, when the markets are flat but volatile. To learn more about Direction's leveraged ETFs, please visit Direction at www.direction.com. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about the Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus call 866-476-7523 or visit our website at Direction.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing.